In this video, we're going to attempt to work on two cars at once <laughs> while I'm trying to sort out the paint on Ellie the 2CV. I'm going to hopefully improve Chevy's interior. Unfortunately, she has been rained on with a load of dust and whatnot, so the exterior is not great right now. But we're going to put the seat covers on and um, attempt to de dog stink her. Yes, she does stink of dog. Yeah. So you're going to be busy with that. I'm going to be busy trying to sort this out. My first job is to get this wing off so I don't get paint all over it. Uh, what's your first job going to be? I'm going to go and use um, a product which people will probably disprove of in uh, on the interior, which is Vanish Carpet Spray. Vanish Carpet Spray. Mm. So um, we shall report back on results as we get started. If it's stained, it doesn't matter because we've got covers. Good thinking. <laughs> right, let's get to it. Let's go. Right, I can hear Chevy beeping away in the background. I need to unlock that before I can remove it. Uh, I think the safest way to stop me getting paint on the boot lid is to remove the boot lid. Given it's fairly easy when the thing wants to play. There we go. Find a sweet angle. Put that safely out of harm's way. Is that, is that strong stuff? <laughs> okay, so we're learning, are we? Let's take the key out because that beep is very annoying. Oh gosh, yeah, it does stink. It's a bit dirty, it? <laughs> a joy of chemicals. Yeah, might make more sense to get the rear door off as well and protect that. Right, I'll just take my car to pieces. And with that off, I can get my favourite little ratchet or oh, and uh, take these little nuts off or little bolts rather. Oh, I might need to replace these. These are not feeling good. So these have been in place for about five years and uh, yeah, they're all going crusty. But um, what's more worrying is the paint has cracked here as well. Just what happens with paint, it seems, it just seems to crack eventually and let the moisture in. So there's severe danger, this might be turning into one of those jobs that just escalates, but yeah, the nuts are all rusty as well. At one stage I did use stainless steel, but stainless steel reacts with normal steel and that can just make things worse again. So uh, yeah, it's hard to know what the best thing is to do sometimes. But these zinc plated bolts have not lasted particularly well. Right, so let's get this on the back. And hopefully this will undo. I can see this turning into quite a long project in itself. There we go. So yeah, I thought I was meant to be a captive nut, apparently it isn't. Yeah, I need to set the back seat out now at this point. Two clips in the back, but I'll just reach here. Oh, before I do that, I've remembered us. There are nuts that are important to this job. So we tip the seat and lift it out. There we go. It's sometimes scary how quickly these cars start degrading again. Right, what are the chances of this one coming undone? Oh, this one's really rusty down there because it sits in all the road grime. So I think we need some penetrating oil. Right, so we've now got three um, 10 mil headed speed screws holding the wing in. Um, but I've just realised I need to get the filler neck off the fuel tank. Uh, so I'm only going to remove one of the bolts for now. Let's go and see how she's getting on. Oh, look at this full on valet mode. It does suck a bit. It does suck a bit. It does suck a bit, yeah. Also, I forgot you knew cars in gear. Oh yeah, I do that. <laughs> Always check they're in neutral, I told you yesterday. It didn't sound like you checked. The fuel filler is now released from the tank. Uh, so we're two nuts away, two bolts away rather. And I should be able to get this wing out. Uh, let's hope so, anyway. It's slightly annoying to get at these. You can't get a socket on them. 
because they're so close close to the um, inside of the car and they're a very tight fit on a 10 mil. I don't know if that's because there's a bit of corrosion on these heads or what. So all I need to do is just take the weight of this wing. Okay. So just stop so it. Where would be best to hold uh, it? Probably the bottom edge, yeah. I'll just unto these. So that's no longer attached to the fuel filler. Okay. But the fuel filler is attached to the car, if you see what I mean. Yep. So is this going to drop? Yeah, it'll want to. Okay. Are you taking this off? Yep. Okay. This one's well on its way, so hopefully it won't be too much. Oh, Got there it. we go. Got it. There we go, thank you. Oh, got your hair. You got me. Uh, that's attached to the car for some reason, I forget. Table tie. We can take this away now. So look look at the filth that has built up inside this car. We really need to get some really Gosh. hefty brushes. I'll get a pressure washer out, I think. Give that a bit of a blast. Um, oh no, I don't want to do that because I've got the petrol tank exposed at the moment. It's, it's only dirt. So. Yes, that's why a brush would be a good idea. Do you have one? Uh, no. No. No, why would I have one? Because it would be sensible. Oh, well that's why I don't have one then. Well, that would explain it. Yeah. Right, so this is the area of paint I'm looking to tackle today. I'm not going to take this window out because they are quite horrific to get in. There's a number of really tight angles so remember it was a right game i've already got loads of paint all over the rubber anyway but i will try and mask it off um, because my plan is to just use a heavy build uh, primer I might go over it just with some um, zinc primer first but then go over it with a heavy build primer so i can get it back to this sort of level I've got this weird thing going on with the paint i'm not going to go into that too much i've got bubble in here as well but where do you stop if I just keep on digging, I'm, I'm going to end up stripping this entire rear quarter and the job just gets bigger and bigger. That can wait for another day. Thankfully, the Zintec coating um, here, I'm not sure what Zintec is, but uh, it seems to do a really good job of protecting the metal. But uh, yeah, we've got to do something because this is just mess and the paint is flaking off where it's been exposed now. So yeah, could do we get in the window out ideally, but I don't think we're going to do that. Or are we? Hmm. Oh, the driver's side. Okay, we'll go around. We'll have a look. What do they look like in here? Oh, yes, that's a bit neater. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I haven't done headrest yet, but I will. No. That. Is there not a hole for the headrest to go through? That would have been neater, wouldn't it? That's and then the it hole. took. That, that's the hole. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's certainly looking better than all this ripped nonsense we had going on there. And these seats do have um, slits in them for the side airbags, so which is why we fitted them. But we have actually been sent two sets of seat covers. The other set might be going in Myrtle de Matiz. I quite like Myrtle seat cover mm. pattern, so I might leave it be. Now moving on to the rear. So is, is the rear two covers to go on the split yeah. rear seat? Um, so yeah, to tip the seat, just pull that little lever there. And they fadoomp down. Fadoomp. just like that. Technical term. I shall leave you to it while I destroy my 2CV. Made the mistake of doing some picking. There's rust under here. So I've got to strip this back. Obviously, a screwdriver is definitely the tool for the job. It doesn't seem to have spread too far, actually. So that's good. So hopefully we can get away with a bit of rust converter on this and then we'll put some fresh paint on this as well. So I'm not going to rub this back because the rust converter actually needs something to actually latch onto. So it needs that rust to be left there. But uh, yeah, these things happen. Welsh climate, really uh, not very good for cars. So I'm not blaming anyone for this. This is the problem with doing this job is that I know people will be dishing out blame, but there's no blame to be had here. This is just what Wales does to cars. Uh, so um, we'll deal with that as well. That is definitely looking better, isn't it? Yeah, wow. Are these elastics meant to attach somewhere? 
we work that out in a minute. Yeah. Just reveling in the excitement of how nice it looks. Yeah. I've cleaned all the dash and everything. Wow. But what I haven't done is my carpet, sadly, because. Uh, Did, well, there's a little vacuum nod up to it. Oh, yeah, and that's, that's an annoyance, isn't it? This seat cover doesn't really say take account of the fact we've got handy storage there. We don't want to block that off. We're not, I'm not blocking the handy storage. Yeah, it just doesn't I'm seem to have been designed storage. with that in mind. But there you go, that's your yeah, airbag gap. Yeah, you, you, I always keep spare windscreen wiper blades in cars because they're useful for doing the side windows and things like that. So don't judge me, I'm not mad. Yeah, I'm slightly wiper obsessed, yes. Um, so I found that bit, I found a bit of rot down here as well. I'm going to rub some of the um, grot out of that. And you can see we're back into the good metal again here. So it's turned into one of those jobs where the more you dig, the more you find. But uh, such is life with old cars. Uh, old cars um, are basically always trying to get back to nature. And uh, the tricky bit is trying to stop them. Marvellous. Left my milk sitting in the sun, that's going to be delicious. I've got as far as I can with for the moment. Okay, we'll come and have a look in a minute. But uh, I am taking the window out. Uh, and it's a good job I am because it's, there's loads of water in here. I'm just trying to encourage the seal out um, over the edge. Not looking forward to putting this window back in, to be honest. I remember what a game it was to get in last time, but uh, nonetheless, it's got to happen. Just pulling the seal over the lip and there we go that's the window out yeah oh, oh god <laughs> oh dear yeah all kinds of mank in there there's lots of wax oil though that we put in so i don't think there's actually as much rust as it looks i think it's just manky old water and get a wipe and clean it up a bit but yeah, oh, it's definitely, um, oh no, you can see bubbles where the paint's cracked and the moisture has got beneath. Good fun times. Yeah, this just got a fair bit bigger. I think now is probably the time to stop for tea. How convenient. Well, do you want to have a look at your seats first? Um, we can do. I've closed the door so we can test the level of steam. Oh, okay. <laughs> she sits there in the sun. Yep. Let's go and have a no, sniff the test. The back seats aren't as I would have me up. No, the back seats are proving quite difficult because the rear cover we had appears to have been nibbled by mice, which is a bit worrying. So, we've got to do this door card. Like yeah, it just needs re glimming on. That um, might be too I difficult. I need to really clean this because I've wiped everything over, but it's not. Right. No, it's difficult. There's lots of spray stuff for cleaning interiors, it but it ends up better. leaving them far too shiny. It does smell very perfumed. Do you want to get out of the way? Uh, yeah, sorry, I was just... <laughs> Admiring your own handiwork. So we've got a slightly different seat cover on the back because someone got us two seat sets of seat covers, so that ended up working really well. Mm. Although there's no split. But I don't think we're that off likely to want to split. We might fold the seat, but we can do that in one piece. But there we go. Uh, right down the back right? yeah looking good it's looking good smelling better i may have a hoover somewhere but um, it's in here somewhere but, but the problem is it um wherever it's gone uh it tends to make more noise than provide actual suction uh it's very very loud and um, doesn't suck at all but it, perhaps we should invest in a new one that's not a bad idea do we need a little Henrietta to go with a Henry we've got at home? She's Henry Hetty. Hoovers. Oh, is it Hetty? Hetty. Hetty, okay. Maybe we need one of those. And she, of course, needs an external wash again. She does need an external wash again, but at least she has all of her windows. What is it with me and not having a window in every vehicle? So, yeah, but Myrtle will have to come out because Ellie will have to go in because she's now even more naked than usual. Uh, yeah, I don't know where we're going with this job. This is turning into a bit of a nightmare. So we might not progress it further today. Um, I've got to clean up this, although, yeah, I can feel the wax. It was built Hamber Dynax X50, I think. I used the term wax oil just because it's a common term that's just used for wax. Um, a bit like, um, what other things like tarmac is actually a brand, but asphalt is the correct term. So 
Yeah, that's what I meant. This is built hamber corrosion work, which largely seems to have done its job and stopped that getting any worse. But I needed to get that seal out. That seal was soaking wet. And uh, now, now I haven't got to worry about masking so much. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? I'm w wondering about getting a new seal entirely because that one's now looking well, quite seal's okay. it's manky. Quite hard is the problem. Yeah, it's hard. It's covered in paint from previous levels of bodgery. Might be yeah, to do just to get a new one. Yeah, but you know, I really need to tackle this and start digging into that as well. So I think um, Ellie's quick paint bodgery is sadly not proving quick at all, and we do have a deadline. And uh, it, 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 yeah, it's fairly late in May. But we are meant to be having an adventure <laughs> in Ellie. So um, I can't think of too much. So that's going to have to be a big project to be cracking on with. But yes, we've got seat covers in chamois. We've got Ellie in bits. I think that's going to have to do for this video. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, we've got to get back we and walk, walk the dogs. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned for more adventures of Ellie as we dig into her. On the other side, she doesn't seem anywhere near as bad, by the way. Look, the, you got a... Perhaps a little hint of bubbling there, but uh, it's nowhere near as bad as that side was, and I couldn't resist, and I started digging. But, you know, that's life. Ellie um, generally hasn't lived indoors um, a lot of her life, especially with me. So, yeah, she gets used all year round. Um, so um, these things do happen. So there we go. I'm, I'm wittering. We'll, we'll end that one there. There will be further adventures of this car, as I have them. Um, but... Uh, yeah, we've got, we've got, I think we're filming mailbag tomorrow. Uh, so we've got the mailbag video to do. And then Monday, Myrtle starts having a bit of an adventure. And another vehicle joins the fleet temporarily. I'm looking forward to revealing what that is. Generally regarded as one of the worst cars ever made, and I think unfairly. But maybe actually driving one will change my mind. We shall see. Uh, so that and more to come in future videos. Farewell for now.